Welcome back and hello if you are new. So thank you for tuning in to my channel where I geek out about metal. Oranzi Pazuzu are a unique blend of innumerous subgenre and welcome us back into their equally idyllic but also quite inhospitable world that is their brand new album Mestalin Kinsey. Mestalin Kinsey, meaning in English Master's Claw, quite simply challenges everything about music. Firstly, it challenges contemporary song structures. There's not one element of A, B, A, B style song structure on this album, but more a continuous evolving piece that kind of gradually layers upon layers as we've seen on Tai Van Porti. However, if there was a song that was closest to what we would kind of see as a traditional song structure, it would have to be Kulana Aina Man Alta. Secondly, it looks at genre. There's as much neurosis and swans as there is Vangelis, Philip Glass with a dash of mayhem. Now those are some seriously contrasting sounds, but also genres. Mester and Kinsey also shares ideas from jazz, and there's also a sense of psychedelia about it. But I think probably one of the most um, evident is in the vocals, which is that primal power of black metal. Next is about how a song is put together. And weirdly, on Mester and Kinsey, it's as much about how a song is put together as it is how it's completely ripped apart at the same time. And you can see this perfectly on Usi Technocratia's midsection, where literally kind of everything falls away. But then later on, this sort of sense of electronica is building the song back up. And it highlights the fact that the deconstruction is just as important as the creation. Perhaps most importantly, an uh, incredibly intriguing element of Oranzi Pazuzu is their abstract creation of instruments. Now, what I mean by this is they'll take, for example, a sing uh, like a second of a flute sound or something like that, and they will change it and manipulate it via the use of delay, the pitch, oscillations, and various different things which combined all together really make something completely different and turn this sound into an actual instrument that they put into the music itself. A perfect example of this is the flute that's used on Usi Technocratia, which sort of sounds quite serene and almost kind of quite relaxing, but then once it's put through this nightmarish kaleidoscope, it almost sounds like an even more evil version of that flute that's on James Horner's absolutely classic Alien soundtrack. A great example is the pitch change on Oika Mielis Densali, which kind of starts with this quite nice sounding clean guitar, and then slowly but surely these violins come in. But what happens with the violins is that the band change its pitch and gives it this almost like melting feel. So it'll have, you know, the, the main kind of notes for a little while and then it'll dip the pitch and then they'll dip it slightly further and slightly more often. And it's that not kind of knowing when they're gonna do it that really throws you off, but also has such an unnerving sense about it. And whilst this is happening, there's this really kind of unresolved tension in the guitar. So the two of these kind of happening at the same time is so jarring and just doesn't kind of feel right. But then we go into this kind of slingshotted psychedelic section where like everything kind of just falls away. To Huden Sacramenti, for example, has this metallic and very much physical guitar line but then we're moved into the kind of psychedelic effect, which represents the more metaphysical in this kind of weird void. It's not a record that you can kind of just put on in the background and it, it really demands your attention. Mester and Kinsey bends the rules completely and does whatever it wants on its own terms. It challenges the perspectives of what instruments can be used, how they can be used, and how a song can essentially be constructed or deconstructed at its own will. It sounds like nothing else you will hear this year and I cannot recommend this album enough. It is without a doubt an album of the year contender. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you did kind of find out a little bit more about Oransi Pazuzu and their new album, please do give a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And if you're a fan of vinyl and all that sort of good stuff, you can follow me on Instagram at The Metal Triss. So thank you ever so much again for watching and I hope you guys are all safe and well and I'll see you very, very soon for another album review. Take care, friends.